So today we're going to talk about the downside to uh, polymer guns. Now, this is an old Tech 9 KG-99 type weapon. This one's actually a Tech 9 machine pistol. And what we have here is a crack running through the receiver. Some of these older guns, the actual serial numbered part is the lower assembly here. And with these early guns, they didn't have a lot of metal liner in them or they didn't have full length metal liners. And what happens is these pin locations will actually crack and the cracks will run across the gun. And this one you see here, the pin mount eventually will crack all the way through. So what I decided to do was attempt to repair this with what's called a plastic staple. Now, the Chinese have a plastic stapler and welder they use to fix auto bumpers and all kinds of other stuff. And I've used that to fix dog houses, automotive components, and so forth. So I figured what I would do before I junk this lower here is try to use a Chinese stapler to see if I can mend this area and then come behind it with a plastic welder, fill it in, and sand it off. Now, the way these plastic staples work is you have a heating iron and it heats the staples up so they're red hot and you actually insert them into the plastic and they melt their way in and when the plastic solidifies it buries the metal staples into the plastic that's how this repair is done now the good thing about most of the tech 9 tech 99 machine pistols is they are actually a registered bolt so the registered part is this bolt in here and this is actually a pretty cheap firearm and unfortunately for most people this is the actual item you need to ffl to get because they have the serial number in here and with these tech 9 machine pistols you can pretty much swap these around and a word of caution with the machine gun bolt in one of these you can use a front grip on it if you have a semi-automatic version of the tech 9 and it has this on it it isn't any other weapon and unless it's registers it's illegal so just a word of caution if you're shooting a tech 9 machine pistol the front group is okay if you got a semi-automatic don't put a front grip on it it'll get you in trouble now this gun actually fires faster than a MAC-10. This thing shoots about 1,800 rounds a minute. These were really big in movies and stuff back in the 90s. So once I do the repair work, I'll come back and do another video and see if it actually worked or whether I had to get another lower to put on this thing. So please share your comments. Tell me about your issues with polymer pistols. We'll see you on the next video.